the special law that you want yeah. to put in place uh, for protesters in front of hospitals or schools. You had a few examples of this in Quebec and also yeah. in other provinces. But for you, that was enough. You've seen enough. You're yeah. going to put your foot yeah. down. I cannot accept to see anti-vaccine people in front of our schools and hospitals. So I will use whatever is necessary to stop that. The Primer of Quebec, Monsieur François Legault, has just adopted Bill 105 concerning the prohibition of any event related to the pandemic within 50 meters of school, daycare, and health establishment and social services, including testing and vaccination clinics. Violator will face a fine of $1,000 to $6,000. Also, intimidation and threat against citizens who wish to have access to a test for COVID-19 in these same place would also be liable to a fine of $2,000 to $12,000. In addition, all persons promoting or creating any such demonstration will be prohibited and liable to a fine, and the court will be able to issue an injunction as soon as a demonstration is announced. Lego unanimously passed is Bill 105 after a short debate that concluded early Thursday evening. The only opposition was the Conservative Party. Madame Sanson, who requested that this bill not be permanent. As a result, this bill is therefore renewable every 30 days by decree until the end of the state of health emergency. This law will also prevent denouncing the quality of air in school or calling the primer a dictator. So the air quality being a subject often brought to the National Assembly is now considered offensive. And that the right to demonstrate for better hair quality for children will not therefore be justified and almost criminal. Moreover, why did you had the ban on qualifying Primer Lego as a dictator? We know that through social media, several cartoons this depicting Mr. Lego as the look like of Adolf Hitler caused a stir in the media. What we don't like in the bill is the fact that they're targeting in a par political partisan way uh, certain people from doing certain things. If somebody shows up with a sign say vote le go, he's allowed. If it's written get out le go, he's not. So it's that kind of thing that we're wondering why do we need to do that. The second issue is the main reason why the government is doing that is to give tickets, $1,500 tickets. He can already do it as we speak. So why do we need the bill to do it? Yeah, but the, the, those people are unmasked. And currently, I've been in protests where people unmasked got tickets from 15, for $1,500. Subsequently, people adopted this expression of dictator in relation to him. This obviously greatly disturbed Mr. Legault since he is using a bill to embed one more amendment to his subject. Isn't not that a way of damaging a certain facade of freedom of expression? In addition, Minister Gilbo rejected the request of Madame Risky of the Liberal Party of Quebec to impose prison term of up to six months on offenders for repeating offend. Minister Gilbo categorized this measure as extreme. Banning demonstration goes against the Charter of Right and Freedom. Mr. Legault does not seem to be considerate his draft 
law as a violation of right because the leader specify that it is a demonstrator that is within their right to demonstrate, but while being 50 meters from the establishment concerned. These are yet another restriction that quietly close on our right and freedom. In the end, the bill ended up passing with amendment removing these measures, so you can legally complain about the school air quality and our logo is acting like a dictator. It all started with two weeks to flatten the curve and we have now been in a state of emergency since March 2020. If we still accept these new law, I wonder how far these politicians will go to prevent citizen free speech. In recent days, the vaccination passport has become a reality not only in Ontario, but in several other provinces. You have already seen how this measure is already creating collateral damage. If you want to help us counter this, go to fightvaccinepassport.com and sign our petition. And if you can, chip in.